Hey, it's Jeff Walker, and so the question this week is, what does luck have to do with it? What role does luck play in our success and our entrepreneurial success and building our businesses? And the, the reason this came up, I was just looking at this, there's an article, a profile of me on Forbes.com, and someone, uh, you know, just talking about some of the success I had, and really it was about the success that my students and clients have had. And um, so Paul Flannery wrote in, what does pure, where, or where does pure luck feature in Jeff's lessons? For every one of Jeff, how many thousands of others try and don't make millions? So there's a lot, yeah, a very short question, very short comment, there's a lot to unpack here. And I might not get to all of it in this video, but it's, um, it's really interesting because, uh, you know, I think I was lucky and just, uh, I was lucky to have great parents, I was lucky to come from a great family, um, you know, I was lucky to have some of the skills and talents I've got, and I was certainly lucky to um, basically be online in the early days and uh, see the potential of, of online publishing. So there's a lot of luck there, but you know, there's a lot of, um, anytime you see someone that's really lucky, the odds are they probably had some luck going the other way as well. For instance, you know, after about, I, I, I created my first online business, in uh, 1996, and I started in 1996 and grew it and gradually, and then in 2005, I had my business essentially stolen from me, just taken from me overnight. And like, what, was that good luck or bad luck, right? Well, you know, I, I looked at it as good luck, even back then, even when it was happening, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna build something bigger and better and brighter, and now my business, I think, it's probably about 50 times bigger than it was then. And my life is about 50 times better because I like this business better. I can make a bigger impact. And I, I love, you know, back then I was publishing with the stock market and I really, it was great at the time, but I so much more love teaching entrepreneurs and helping them bring their gifts out into the world. Um, so, you know, horrible luck to spend seven or eight years building a business and then have it taken away overnight. And you know, the thing is, is so many um, of the really successful entrepreneurs that I know have that kind of story where they had some success and then they, and then they had something, you know, something bad happen to them. Brendan Burchard, he you know, lost his business uh, in, in a, uh, through a bankruptcy. Frank Kern, he basically got a huge setback and had to start over from scratch. I've got one friend after another that have that story. So what does, if you can, if you have someone who basically has success and then has it all taken away from them and then turns around and has even greater success, then where, where does the luck lie? And um, you know, the, the thing is, is, is I, I have, there's one lesson I learned, it was in a Tony Robbins seminar. And um, in that seminar, Tony, uh, he did, there's like 3,000 people in there. And he did this game of Simon Says. So you probably know it's a children's game that you play when you're six years old. Simon says this, Simon says that, and you follow along. And it's a very simple game. So he had 3,000 people all stand up and try and play this game. And uh, very quickly, he got it, you know, there's only, you know, 50 people left, and then 20 people left, and then 10 people left, and then two people left, and then one person finally won it. 3,000 people and this one person won it. So what are the odds of winning that game? One in 3,000, you would think. But then this is where the lesson came in. Tony asked the crowd, he's like, okay, I, you know, after the game was over, he's like, I've got a question for you. Who here, when we started that game, who here was planning to win that game? And I want everyone who was planning to win, when we started that game, their intention was to win that game. I want you to stand up. And they stood up. You know what, there's maybe, out of 3,000 people, there's maybe 50 or 60 people that were playing to win. I wasn't one of them, I didn't care. When they started playing the game, I thought it was a little silly, it's a child's game, I don't care what, who cares, whatever. And I was out really, really quickly. Um, but there was like 50 or 60 people that wanted to win. And he said, that's the point. In any endeavor that you, that you start off, you know, there's the people there that are playing to win. And those are the only people you're competing against. So really, if you did want to win that game, you weren't competing against 3,000 people, you were competing against 50 people. And that's the way it is in everything. And in business, again, I don't like to talk about competition because I think 
Um, I think of co-opetition where I work with my partners and, and especially in online business, um, there's so many times where when you work together, you can grow the pie. So I'm, I'm not about competition, but just if you look around and you say, am I gonna be one of the people that's super successful? You know, whatever super successful means for you. And I don't think for most people, it has to mean millions and millions and millions of dollars. But if you look around and you want to say, I want to, I want to set myself apart. I want to, I intend to be successful. And I look around and most people in this life are not being successful. They're not, they're not living the lives they really want. I want to be one of the people that is living the life I want. It's not about luck. It's about making that decision that you're going to play that game to win. And really it is, it's a game. It, it is a game. That's what this is all, you know, business, it's serious, but it's a, it's a, it's a game. And you, you might as well play that game to win. Otherwise, you know, because you know what? Three years from now, well, those three years are going to pass. Whether you decide right now I'm going to win and I'm going to work really hard for those three years, you know, three years, three years from today, you're going to wake up. And you either, you know, you're either going to have a life you, you, you dreamed of because you s decided today that I am going to win, or else, you know, you'll s sit there and watch TV and drink some beers each night and, you know, it's all good, whatever. But if you decide that you're going to win, it's not about luck. It's about making that decision. And, you know, I've been blessed to get to hang out with a lot of super, super successful people. And, you know, I don't, I think every one of them, you can look back and they can, they can think they're lucky stars. They can say, boy, I got that lucky break, or I'm so glad I was in that place at that time, or met that person, or I went to that seminar. And there is, you know, sort of elements of luck threading through their story. But the reality is if they hadn't gotten that lucky break, they would have gotten this lucky break. And it's because they decided to, to really show up and win, that, that they're playing the game to win. And that's what luck has to do with it. So I'm Jeff Walker. If you're watching this anywhere else besides at my blog at jeffwalker.com, head on over there. That's where all the goodies are. Scroll down, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Just give me some reaction and uh, let's go get them this week.